Some people living in a Marion County are a nightclub opened up right across the street. And we found out right now the county can't do anything about it, so we went to find out why. Cor Harlan is asking the tough questions. It is a beautifully maintained home for dozens of full and part-time RVers living just east of Lancaster here in Marion County. But for all of the joys of living in this park, there's one drawback, and that is the booming, thundering sound that comes from the nightclub just over the fence. The actual music itself, you can't really hear it here. You can just hear it hum. But when that bass takes off, it'll actually rattle the windows in the trailer. <laughs> Steve Wood has known a lot of peace and quiet in the eight years he's been at the Phoenix RV Park just east of Lancaster Drive in Marion County. Night noise coming from Remy's nightclub next door has drowned out a lot of the late night quiet. You know, and I understand the bar's position. They got to uh, make money, but there's no sense in them being that loud. I don't know how anybody can stand to sit in there when it's, they're doing that. What really angers people living here is that a block away inside the Salem city limits, residential and commercial noisemakers all have to quiet down at 10. But Remy's, being in the county, is a commercial business exempt from noise regulations. I took the concerns of the RV park to County Commissioner Janet Carlson. Yeah, commercial industrial businesses arguably make more noise than residences do. Why would they be have ever been exempted from that? You know, that's a good question. We tried to align our ordinance as much as possible. ...to tweak its noise ordinance to bring commercial businesses like Remy's under the same 10 o'clock noise restriction Salem has. Commissioners have scheduled a public hearing on the noise change for July the 9th. We will keep following the story. We'll be at the meeting and we'll let you know if any relief is on the horizon for people like Steve Wood. In Marion County, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.